Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss or we are going to learn, in fact, how to use one of the most amazing packages in R called the dplyr. This is one of my favorite packages because it is one of those packages which helps me to manage my data, to analyze my data very quick and in an efficient manner. Okay. Uh, compared to any other tools which I have used earlier, like probably maybe SQL or any such tools, I find dplyr to be very efficient, very quick. And at the same time, the functions are so intuitive that it becomes very easy for you to remember. Like, like for instance, I need to filter the filter function. Okay, so things are very intuitive, very easy to remember and recall. So I'll take you to, to a very simple guided tour for the entire dplyr package. And we'll be learning the various utilities and functionalities of dplyr and you too i'm sure would be amazed by the capabilities of this wonderful package dplyr okay now let's go ahead and see what all we can do with this package okay now i'm using uh, for instance let us say if you do not have this package go ahead and install it and this is how you would install install.packages you'll use this uh, dplyr, dplyr in double quotes, and if there are some dependencies which your R needs to take, just write dependencies equals true. Run it, the package gets installed, and once the package gets installed, you need to put that package into your library. Okay, library dplyr. So go ahead and hit control enter to run it. I'm using this data. Okay, this is state wise income data which is already there on github i'll share this link with you in the description you can download this data and you can work along with me fine so you can find this link in the descriptions so i have imported this data and uh, now just to see whether the data is imported or not i run this head i find my data is not found okay so i need this data so let's see okay i have run this data okay so i have my data i just check head yeah now i get my data you can see i have uh, one is index then the state year 2002 year 2003 year 2004 and so on till year 2015 so i have data from 2002 till 2015 so this is the data i'm working with good enough right so the learning outcomes that I have today in this session, okay, is making you understand how to select few random rows from your data. So for all those researchers who needs to do, who need to do this random sampling, you can definitely use this function. Like you have a huge data and you just want to do some random sampling, do some analysis and want to generalize that result or output over the entire sample that you have or on the entire population you can go ahead and do this okay you'll find this very useful so let's see how to do it so first learning outcome selecting n random rows n random rows when i say n so that could be 10 20 100 50 whatever okay so now go ahead and see how we do it now let us say i would call my sample let us say whatever sample i'm generating I would call sam1 okay let us say equals so the function the inbuilt function that you have in dplyr you can see this okay sample underscore n so take this function sample underscore n put your data what is your data i've saved my data in the form of my data okay and then now let us say n i want 10 okay randomly picked 10 rows from my data okay 10 observations from my data let's see so this is i've created my random sample now if you wish to see your sample sam1 hit it you get your sample of 10 randomly chosen or randomly selected rows okay so you can see it has picked all the rows randomly so every point of time you run it you get 10 different random rows okay if you just remember 1924-44 okay just i'm remembering 1924-44 okay just to see 
Okay, now I'll run this and see once again. Okay, I'm running it. Just see how randomly it picks. Okay, this time I get entirely different. Right, getting this. So that's the beauty of this. Every time you run it, you get 10 different random rows picked for you. Then next, the second learning outcome that I have today, selecting random fraction of rows. Okay, in the previous one, I fixed the number that is 10. Now let us say now I want to pick the 10% of my rows, then how? Okay, again, I have a very beautiful function. Let us say I'm naming the subset to be SAM2, sample underscore frac, okay, that is fraction. Again, my data, now let us say I want 10%, so I would say 0 0.1, fine, that's the fraction. So go ahead, hit the enter and you get your sample created. Now if I want to just see SAM2, Okay, so I get my sample ready. So this is what it has done for me. Now just remember uh, 33, 37, 8 and so on. And I would like to generate it once again and see whether it is random or not. Okay, now you see this time it has given me 42, 44. Okay, so it is generating totally random samples. So. This is one very powerful tool which researchers could use and just take help of it. Okay. I hope you found this very useful and do follow this playlist where I would be continuously uploading and sharing with you some amazing tips with this package, a beautiful and amazing package called Deeplier. Thank you for watching. Do keep visiting and spread the good word by liking and sharing this video. Thank you.